Okay, we're back and let's roll this video. Let me show you the last method. So we have same geometry and nothing to do here. So the new method, the last method is this one. Just a reminder, this method is still experimental, will be the closest to what you have in a snappy X mesh. This method, so we go here, I hope you're used right now that you have all your options here, you know that you have everything, but this method doesn't have any options exposed here. The control here is global control. You can also use local control to to <clears throat> to have finer or coarser meshes. So basically let's use the same parameters and if I click here quite easy it will start you're going to get your mesh. It is a dominant ex dominant mesh. So probably you start to get the feeling that it's quite similar to what a snappy X mesh will do. You see that you have this subtle snapping here and so on. But contrary to what you have in a snappy X mesh, that sometimes in the feature edges you have problems or in the surface, this is perfect method. It works very well. But remember, it's very experimental. So let me go and put a coupling there. And this is what you have. Okay, it works very well. This is your what you will expect now is to use a uh, snappy X mesh just to show you also that you can have local control. So one of the deficiencies that we have here in this method is that it's still the boundary layer doesn't grow. So you can do your bond, bottom mesh, everything, but it's not going to grow your boundary, your boundary layer for the moment or for the time of this recording, but it is in, in the works. So to show you, that's all, okay? Very, as you saw, it's very easy just to find global pr parameters and that's all. So let's do something. Let me close this mesh and add uh, some local refinement. So let's say, let me select this wall and let me move this wall to another group that I will call wall one. So now I'm going to have access here and let's say that that wall one I wanted 0 0.05 and to show you how the transition is controlled here so let me do it again so if you recall snappy x mesh that you have that two to one transition let's show let me show you what is happening here okay I zoom in and there you go so Look at the transition. So in the snap is you do this in the snap and you go from here and immediately you're going to transition to the large cell. So in this case, you have a smooth transition for a small cell is putting there some, some elements to control that. So this is a big difference. And that is what is lacking in snap PS. Uh, and that is why I don't like those meshes. You have that, that very strong transition, rapid transition, which is also you have it here. So this is not say that I like this. So you have that problem, but it's an improvement over what you have in Snappy X mesh. So you can add it, your local refinement and edges, faces. Also, you can add density regions. And let me show you, for instance, uh, uh, let me just to end this video. Um, bam, 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 bam. Let me close here and let me select here and let me add uh, region somewhere somewhere in my domain okay put that cylinder there okay let me put something in it and let me move here let me make it smaller okay and okay so it's intersecting there okay. doing something and let me say that i want all the cells inside that region to be 0 0.08. Let me move it a little bit more and I'm gonna put it something. Okay, something like that. Very intrusive. Uh, boy, you have it there. Okay, uh, I need to create uh, the region. And there you go, you have the region and it works exactly the same. Let me click there. And you already see that it is affecting the surface mesh. Okay, half is growth radio, everything, so it's getting there. And if we put our cut plane somewhere where we have those cells, so probably there is a good choice. You can see that it is refining the, the, the cells. And you have that transition. Okay. 
Ok, euh, la, 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 la. There you go. So you have the transition from the small cells to the large one, and then it's filling that region with some continuous elements to avoid that two to one ratio. So it's a improvement, as they say, over what you have in Snap yet. Remember, still experimental. Uh, you kind of add the boundary layer, but hopefully it will be improved. But I prefer to stay with topology mesh based method than the surface based. This method, as it is there now, this is a volume to surface method. So it will surface, it will mesh the volume and then it will project that volume mesh into the surface. So that's why you see these elements that are collapsing there. So it's projecting everything, doing that, the according to the snapping in the snappy X mesh. Instead, as you do your surface mesh, is a much way, better way. Surface mesh, grow boundary layer, and then from there, you can spread now the whole volume mesh. So this is it. These are the three methods that we have in Inova. There, is, there are some other things that sweep, uh, you can sweep the some elements and so on. So that is a advanced feature. So hopefully in the future we'll address that, but we have the fundamentals here. So for the uh, think this is all for this missing static mixer. The next step maybe will be to set up the simulation. So in this tab there, but that will be the subject of another video. So thanks and see you next time. Bye.